Okay, now this video will be tackling about derivative. So of course, uh, the the derivative is one of the um, concepts of in which uh, uh, in which the the branch uh, the differential calculus is uh, focused on. So there is uh, here in our screen. So we have the derivative of different functions so from algebraic to inverse hyperbolic function so there is a certain way of, of getting the derivative of this one in which um, we just uh, try to skip the derivation of that one and how to derive the <laughs> the derivatives of these functions and maybe i will just be doing another video for this one in which i am going to derive the this derivative of these functions of course the de definition of the derivative of a function is its rate of change with respect to an independent variable and that independent variable is x okay so for example if maybe we just have a new page here for example if we have a certain function okay for example we have maybe we have y y is equal to 2x so in in algebra we know that our x is the independent and our y is the dependent variable so we are getting the rate of change of this y the dependent variable with respect or in terms of x so that's why the we have our derivative as dy the x which is we could say that this one by using the formula okay this will be equal to 2 so this dy dx so this is now the rate of change for what so the rate of change of y with respect to x so for example if our x is changing to certain values so we, we could calculate what is the change in the value of y so that's why the the uh, the very uh, first instance of the notation for uh, this one is the delta y over delta x so this is the, the notation in which we could get those this formula here we are going to have the derivation so this one in which delta means change okay now for the for the notation of dy dx so there is um there is uh, another notation for this one you could have this one as y prime okay so there are also some books that will have this one y open close parenthesis one here especially if we arrive at the third order derivative and beyond so the fourth order derivative we, for example we have d to the four y then this is d four so we could not write this one as y one two three four four prime so that that will be tedious enough so some books on calculus will just write this one y this y to the power not, not not to the power because that is for exponent y open close parenthesis superscript four that is how we uh, we have the or that that is how the notation for uh, dy dx okay now as for the order of the derivatives okay the order of the derivatives if we have the first order second order then so on and so forth up to the nth order okay. so we have also the, the term zero zero order in which this is now the the f of x itself so that is the function itself then the first order that will be the f prime of x or the dy dx if you are if you are trying to have our function as a function of y then the second order that will be f prime of x 
Okay, in getting the second order deri derivative, the second order derivative is the first order deri derivative of the first order derivative of the function of x. So that is how you are going to get the the order of the derivative. So therefore, we could say that if we have the third order derivative here, so this third order f double prime a triple prime of x is the first order derivative of our second order derivative. Now for the nth order derivative, so that would be f to the power of n, so that we will have now a parenthesis, f of x. So that will be the derivative of the f n minus 1 of x. So the or the, the order derivative before our f of n. Okay? So that is how the order of derivatives work. So if for a certain algebraic function, for example, x squared, so the first order derivative of the one will be 2x. The third, uh, the second order derivative, so we will get the, deri the derivative of this one. So what is the derivative of 2x? It will be 2. Now the next order derivative, the third order, so we will get the derivative of 2, that will be 0. Up to the n, that will be now equal to 0. So this, this type of derivative is somewhat terminating in which we will get 2. 0. But there are derivatives, especially like cosine and sine and the tangents. So, they will be um, oscillating within itself, within the order derivative. So, that is how the order of the derivatives work and how you are going to get the, the first, second, third, up to the nth order derivative. So, for this one, you must be able to familiarize with this different derivative of certain function. Of course, the derivation of this one is much, much tedious. Okay, so I just written on the, and so much, much tedious to get the the derivative of this one. Of course, you could ha you could look for books that has the derivation of this one, and I will also be um, having videos. In which I am going to derive these different um, functions or these uh, different derivatives. So I just hope I will I will have time for that. In especially this um, these functions are somewhat um, many to do, but we will try to have these videos. Okay. Okay, so maybe that that will be all for this video. I hope you learned something. Then in the next video, we will have some examples on how to get the derivative of a certain functions. And as always, enjoy learning.